sharing the stage with these, and I'm not, this is not pandering, so please don't clap because I don't pander, okay? Sharing the stage with these two titans at the vanguard of the fight against opponents of freedom, free speech, critical thinking, um, science, logic, rational thought, right? It's a challenge because I don't write books. I haven't done some of the things that they've done. I see myself, and Serena may not have thought of this way, but I see myself as a, I've got two roles here, as a bridge and as a ringer. And I'll explain those in a second, okay? Now, just as Serena alluded to, she was a student in my class in psychological disorders, and that was back last year, uh, around this time. And this is when Dr. Peterson's controversy started to make waves. It was around October, November 2016. As soon as that happened, as soon as I saw the backlash she was originally receiving before the media smartened up, I knew that I had to speak up because I knew what he was doing. I knew the concerns he had. I heard them. I actually listened to what he had to say. I didn't just read the headlines. So I was able to incorporate what he was saying into my human sexuality class and into my psychological disorders classes. And so Serena, sitting there in the class with all the other students who like jaws are dropped saying like, he's actually speaking truth. He's not being politically correct. And by the way, this speech is gonna sound like the most self-indulgent uh, rant for, uh, for the next few minutes. It's not self-indulgent. I'm framing it this way. It's not self-indulgent because I represent everybody here. This is how I'm the bridge. I may have a media profile, but it wasn't always that way. I don't have the stature of Dr. Uh, Peterson or Dr. Sad, or all the people that were up on the screen when Dr. Sad was talking. Neither does Serena, but as Dr. Sad said, an ordinary person can pull off something like this, and I'm just, I'm a nobody, yet I've been trying to have an impact. And so I'm trying to act as a bridge saying, you don't have to just look at these two and say, wow, they're doing a great job.